Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to another beer review. And in this one, this is the first of six. Um, every week I'll be reviewing uh, one beer from the 2019 Fullers and Friends box behind me on top of that cabinet. And I did the 2018 one. Or was, it, was it 2018, 2017 one uh, a while back and really enjoyed it. And I saw this this other pack in Waitrose last week. I thought, hmm got to give this one a go um so the first beer from this pack is their collaboration with magic rock brewing um and this is an oat mild now this recipe inspiration the recipe for this beer dates back to the 1920s and um the beer is called misprized super smashing great and the reason why it's called misprized is because it's, it's a term for being undervalued. A style with this is a style which has been undervalued over the years, and it's great to to see this um, collaboration in the new box set. So I'll give it a little twist. This is clocking in at four and a half percent ABV. There you go. I'll give it a little twist for you. There you go. I shall read the back as ever. It says, um, mild and undervalued beer style. Not anymore in the celebration of this classic English style. We tweet a traditional recipe from 1920 by adding rum barrel oak chips to give a sweet, nutty depth of flavour. Oh, well, it's a rich, multi mass piece, that's, and that's putting it mildly. Pardon the pun. Um, yeah, so let's crack this open. Crack this open. Like you do, oh, a little bit of smoke there. There's the Fullers and Friends crown. The aroma. Not picking up much because it's just tired of <laughs> it's tired to come up the come up the neck. So let's pour this in and see what it's all about. I'm a big fan of both breweries. I love Fullers and I love Magic Rock, and I suppose that's the reason why I picked this one as the first one out of the box set. Um, because I love them both. Um, they have both have their own distinctive characters regarding their beers, and it'll be rather interesting if I can pick out them separate characters in this beer. So I'll whack it there. I do being a glass, as you can see, it's like a hazelnut colour, um, very dark, maybe walnut, mahogany, even. Um, about one and a half think well about half a finger's worth of fluffy dusting of head there um so give it a little 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 swizz see what we get start to pick up a hint of rum dark rum hint of caramel there it's, it's not giving much away but it's you can just pick it up it smells on the surface really really nice Nice little subtle notes. I can't wait for this. I'm going to go in. So cheers. Mm. Everything. Everything is very subtle in its notes but you pick up the smoky a smoky bitterness on the back end definitely um i'm getting a lot of walnut in this i'm, I'm getting a lot of, of of nuts and it feels like a a slight ma mahogany character to this beer. And you pick up a start smoke this on the end. For me, I'm not really picking up much of the rum. I'm not picking up much rum for me. I got it in the aroma. But... It's very, very nice. Uh, it is, it's, you know... It's a style which is you don't see much of about 
a mild, you know, I don't see much milds where I am because of this craft beer trend these days. Traditional um, styles of beer, it does feel like traditional styles of beer do go out of the window. I think uh, it's a big, big shame. And it makes me think how much of a generational thing beer styles, you know, does different generations dictate different beer styles to a degree or is it just brewers don't want to just brew them anymore you know you know it, it it's 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 one of them things but for me this derived from a 1920 recipe this is why i keep harking on about fullers um they got history they got traditions they still brew pretty awesome beers. There may be a, the odd weak beer in their, you know, collection, if you want to call it that, or range, if you want to. But they do produce fantastic beers. And, you know, you can put your life on them doing a good, good job. But when it comes to, you know, the trendy craft beers these days and everyone's, you know, it does push these, these styles to one side. And it's, it's, it's just a shame for me. Um, I'm going again. Yeah. Lovely subtle notes, lovely smooth mouthfeel. You do get, you get a stickiness there, which gives the inkling of, the rum, but all in all, boys and girls, this is the first one from the box. Over the next five weeks, I'll be getting one every week out of that box, and I have to say, it's a great beer to start off with, and I hope the rest of them are gonna be just as good. So, boys and girls, Fullers and Friends, Fullers and Magic Rock, misprized Oak Mild, highly recommend that one. Um, it's a cracker. Thank you very much for watching this one. Um, please subscribe. Moan me in the comments. Tell me if you've had this box set. And I'll see you all on my next one. So cheers, everyone.